It's uh, Sunday night, but we're going to pretend it's either Friday or Saturday. <laughs> For some straight ahead toe tap and rock and roll. And uh, one of the better things about this is that if, if you're really not crazy about the tune, it's over in less than three minutes and then we move on to something else that you might prefer. It's really a no lose situation. Everybody can spare two minutes and 57 seconds. Goodness gracious. Toast to the health of all of you. Thanks for being here tonight. This is terrific. <laughs> Billy, you know I was um I was fortunate enough to work with Carl on on his solo album, and uh, he and Timothy Schmidt from the Eagles came and sang on one of mine. And it, you know what? Those are memories I treasure in here. Carl was a wonderful, wonderful singer, and I, I know you were very close to him, and uh, man, I, I treasure those days that I spent with him singing. They're in here forever, in here forever. I just wanted you to know that. Um, this is just straight ahead toe tapping Saturday night music, so feel free to tap your toes. <laughs> Fourth visit here to the Orleans. Third night this time. That's the first time we've ever done three nights here. Uh, they wanted us to do four in a row, but that ship has sailed for me. <laughs> <laughs> that ship has long sailed into the horizon. This is not like a lot of bands where there's some extensive soloing and stuff. Like 90% of the time we're on stage, I'm singing. So. 
After the second night, I really, you know, I just need to sit back and drink 40 Newcastles and not sing. But, um, I'm gonna try some, we haven't done this in at least a year, right? And this has a hell of a lot of chord changes, so I'm putting a lot of pressure on these guys right now. This was played a lot more in Canada than it was in the States, but it was inspired by David Bowie, who recently passed away. When Bowie came along, everything changed. And the Guess Who was, was not a band about appearance. That's why we were never in any of the teen magazines. We, we looked more like cow hands than we did to, like a rock and roll band, and we never tried for that glam stuff, you know? We didn't care. You know, here's a funny thing about the Guess Who up until the silly days with Troiano, but you know, we wore the same clothes all day that we did on stage at night. We just didn't care, you know? It was the music, the music, the music, the music, the music, the music, the music. And then Bowie came along and the music moved down from first place to about eighth place in importance. And, and God bless him, he was a wonderful writer and an innovator and I still love golden years and I still love I'm Afraid of Americans and uh, he is missed. Wow. I go online a lot, you know, and by the way, but while I remember, come and visit me on Facebook. I'm there almost every night. Late. Late. <laughs> And for about two or three full days, it was just, wow, the impact this guy had. You could really see after the news broke that he uh, had passed away. So, um, in the greatest respect to his memory, I wrote this kind of, you know, it was kind of anti-Bowie at the time, but it, it became so much more. It became about a movement, not just about David. So I want to do this tonight in memory of all the great things that David Bowie did. This is called Glamour Boy. Don't hang up. 